colours there, absolutely fantastic. Welcome to the Sunday Shave. How's your week been? And how's the shaves going? Um, right, as you probably see by the title, um, I'm going to use the Ming Shi razor. And this is the Ming Shi Shaver 2000S. Um, came with a pack of blades. Ming Shi blades, which I'm not using in this shave for a reason, but I will use them in future. In future, get it. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to use two. Can you tell which is which? Can you tell what it is yet? Who said that? Anyway. Right, this is the Merca Future. And this is the Ming Shi 2000. So, loaded into there is a brand new Wilkinson sword blade also into there and I'm doing this video hopefully well out of interest myself but hopefully for people to see uh, what the differences are now I've put a couple of pictures you'll see now of the size of these roughly four and a half uh, I think it's nearly five inches four and a half to five inches something like that uh, in length now, the Ming Shi is about two millimeters. You can't tell maybe by holding them like that, but this is about two millimeters shorter than the future. Um, but the heads are the same size, uh, as you can see. There is a difference, this is the future. The numbers on the future are smaller and this edge is very defined. On the Ming Shi, the numbers are much bigger and this is a bit more rounded. Um, I've gone for the satin finish because that's what this is. Although this is, compared to this, this is a cross between satin and chrome. Actually, it's a nice, uh, feels lovely. Really nice. Um, you know, so far by looking at it. Um, lovely smooth movement when you alter the setting and I'm putting them both whether you can see this I hope you can this is the future on setting three and the same on that and I'm going to shave this side with a future and this side with a Ming Chi see if there's any difference um, in that. Now the weights uh, as you'll see now Big difference. Merca Future 125 grams and the Ming Shi is 100 grams. So the Future is slightly heavier if anybody was ever wondering about that. Okay, back to the back to the shave. I'm gonna use a pre-shave oil today because of the futures. Use a dove oil. I'm not gonna do on one with a scent really. Um, Taylor of Old Bond Street, we're hitting the top end today. Um, this one is the uh, German Street Collection Shaving Cream for Sensitive Skin. Has been and still is one of my favourite bo uh, Bond, Taylor of Old Bond Street um, scents, apart from the grapefruit, that's, a, that's another one. Um, this is just a beautiful, expensive, aftershave, cologne -y scent, just lovely, it's just... When you smell, it's one of those things when you smell, you think, God, that's nice. You know it's not, you know, rubbish. The brush of choice is the two-band badger from uh, Grey Dog, and I'm going to show you something else later on at the end of the shave. So I've already started the lather. I soaked this badger brush for 10, 15 minutes in hot water or warm water from the tap, and then we've peaked. So... Before we do that, I want to add some shaving on. That's enough. Just to give that. No, there's not. Well, there is a slight scent, but nothing major. So, how are you doing? Are you in good health? How's your week been? Shaves going all right. Have you had any new products? Have you succumbed to the addiction of ordering stuff? <laughs> oh dear. Could be worse, couldn't it? So 
a lot of worse things happening in the world. I think these all these bad people need to start de shaving it. It'll sort them out. Right, I'll just rinse my hands there. Oh, they're lovely now. Very nice to have a bit of colour. Okay, and thank you for all the comments in my last video using the Williams soap. Um, very interesting how a lot of people say it's no good, it's rubbish, and well, quite a few people said it was good, and they've learned the knack. There seems to be a knack to the uh, process of lathering that into a thick, creamy lather, as they describe it. Um, but I think the problem lies, they changed the formula, so I was told, in 2004 to a new formula. And that reminded me straight away, if you remember, if you know anything about it, Crabtree and Evelyn had lovely hard soaps. Now it's a bit different for them because, you know, the Crabtree and Evelyn are expensive soaps. And they changed the formula and it was rubbish, it dissipated, you know, and you were paying good money for these. But uh, they must have had that many loss of sales and complaints. They did listen to the buyer, to the shaver, and they went back. Now they've gone back to the old formula, which works a treat. So, you know, I'd love, I'd love to say, um, I'm going to have a go at Williams again off camera, see if I can make it work. But uh, a lot of differences, the water as well, wherever you are in the world, different water types can make it easier, I think, as well. And that's not making excuses, you know, it's, it does affect it. Um, but it would be good if they went back to the old formula. And I'd love to, nothing to say, nothing more I should say, to hold the box of Williams up and say, that's fantastic So because it's an old name. So, uh, but anyway, thanks for all your comments. And if you're wondering how to lather that up, look in the comment section under that video. Very interesting reading how some people even go into detail. Fair play to them. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> so we've put the pre-shave oil on. We're going to lather up. Oh, I haven't smelled this for a while. <laughs> Go on, get your nostrils on there. Beautiful. And I want it thick and creamy. That's how I like it. It works for me, this. Especially with these razors. Now, the Ming Shi I paid, you can get it on Alibaba and all that sort of thing for £6. And, but I paid more than that for mine because I, well, I didn't want to wait for it to come two or three weeks from abroad. Uh, I just happened to come across it because I didn't intend buying it actually because I got three futures there. Um, but it came with a brush. A uh, load of blades. Uh, what did I pay? Oh, I can't remember now. But it was a good bet, 20 something, 24 pounds, I think. But uh, there was the razor. That pack of blades comes with it. And a load of Nasset, N A C E T, about six packs of Nasset blades. And some other blades came with it. And as I say, a brush, just an inexpensive brush. But, um, It's, uh, it was in the UK, so it came within two or three days. So I didn't mind paying the bit extra. Um, right, off we go. Let's get on with it. So firstly, Merca Future on this side. Setting three, brand new Wilkinson Sword Blade. Pimple, I thought I just caught it right in my I'm doing it like this so I can feel sort of every part of my face then. So that's the Merca Future. So I know how that feels, very nice. 
and then onto this uh, the Ming Shi 2000. So rinse off. As I say, set in three again, and down this side. Here we go. Yeah, so it feels exactly the same shaving. But you can, I can tell, you can tell that 25 grams lighter. Um, if you didn't know in the future, you may not be able to tell and you'd say it was a heavy razor. But I can, I can feel that difference. But lovely, really nice, the same. Feels nice. Right, on to pass number two. Okay, welcome to pass number two. Smell that, you can't beat that, can you? Look at that, lovely. Lovely brush too. It's soft, but it's got a nice backbone, which you don't need with cream, obviously. And there we go. See what it's like across the growth now. So, milk a future. Set in three. And as I say, a brand new Wilkinson sword blade. Which is a uh, always worked well for me, these razors, uh, these blades, and uh, my sort of go to amongst a few others when I use a new razor, you know. So, Merca Future, and now the Ming Shi. Still on the same setting. Um, very much the same. But as I say, I can tell holding the two in the same shave. That's how I'm doing it in the same shave because I think, as you know, I don't really do compare razors to each other. And I come into the bathroom and use the razor of what it is. There's nothing else in my head. Walk through that door using that razor for what it is. But this I thought was different because this is a clone of this. And so far, it's like a twin, except for the weight and the maybe two millimeters in shortness of the handle. Uh, right. <laughs> pass number two, on to pass number three. Right, here we go. Welcome to pass number three. Look at that. Pass number three. Just going to touch of water, see what happens. Yep, somebody's opened the washing machine door again. Beautiful scent. As I say, another soap I've not used for a long, long time. And I appreciate it. Love the scent of this. Always have done. This is one of my first 
Taylor Vault Bond Street soaps I used. Right. Against the growth now, Merca Future, same setting as I say, setting three, Wilkinson Sort Blade. Good audio feedback. Good old faithfulness. And again, this can be a Marmite razor, you know, either, I think you either love it or you hate it. Um, but saying that, I know a lot of people don't love it and don't hate it. They just use it and enjoy it. But um, I've always took to it straight away. As you can see, there's not a, not a lot left. Mustache area. That's lovely. Move the future. Now on to the Ming Shi. Again, good audio feedback. I am feeling the lightness slightly, not not a lot. It makes it nice. It's a, still a good weight, and you still have to use it lightly. Um, I'll show you the razor in a bit of detail in a minute. I'll take the head off and show you inside compared to the inside of the future. Really nice. So that's the three passes. Um, for the pickups, um, I'll use. Well, I'll try and use the two again. See what happens. Oh, I have caught a little. There, right. Here we go. Good protection there. Slickness, protection. Oh, it's there like that. And the uh, scent is absolutely beautiful. So on to the pickup time. Okay, pickup time. I'll stick to the, there you are, look. To the side here. So, Merca Future, pickup time. That will do for that. And then pick up time with a Ming Shi. really enjoyed this because I was interested myself in knowing you know well, just a touch that I'll use a Ming Shi for it
beautiful. Right, I'll just rinse off. That's beautiful. Oh, oh it always feels good to shave. Oh. <laughs> Right, Sunday dinner. Um, what are we having? Uh, new potatoes um, from Wales. Oh my god! Oh, roast lamb. Uh, homemade gravy. Uh, sometimes I don't do homemade, but it will be tomorrow. Make my own. Um, garden peas, carrots. And lashings of gravy, you've got it. And, <laughs> and some scrumpy jack cider. And I've also got some dark fruits cider. So maybe a bit of both as I uh, partake of my cooking duties tomorrow. So that's what's uh, for Sunday dinner. Um, right, after that, we've rinsed off. We're going to use Thayer's cucumber. My skin feels fantastic both sides but I'm more interested in this side in the shape of the, the Ming Shi so as you can see it's not done me any harm it's shaved very nicely and then we're going to the posh stuff again his lordship would love this yes I bloody well would yes yeah, see thank you sir um, it's the, it's the aftershave for that. German Street Collection, alcohol free aftershave for sensitive skin. Oh, you can tell when there's a bit of poshness when you've got the old. Oh, it smell it, come on. Oh, I'm going to have some more of that. Go on then. Did I miss you? Oh yeah. There you go. Oh god, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. And then to put the moisture back, put the lid back and I'm in the moisture, we're gonna use the Nivea Men Originals. This will be a good combo, I bet you. Any money on it. Yeah. <laughs> Knew it would be. Right. Back to work. Now the fun is over, come on. <laughs> it's always fun, it's not work. It's always fun. Right then. Beautiful. So, just to go over, Merca Future, setting three, satin finish, brand new Wilkinson sword blade on this side. Ming Shi 2000S, setting three, brand new Wilkinson sword uh, blade on this side. We use Dove pre-shave oil first. Use the beautiful Grey Dog two band badger brush, lovely. Red mixing bowl, we've used Tail of Old Bond Street German Street Collection shaving cream for sensitive skin, a beautiful scent. We've rinsed off with water, we used Thayer's, sorry, cucumber, lovely. Then we put this posh stuff on, uh, which is the match for the soap, the uh, German Street Collection alcohol free. Uh, aftershave and then we put the moisture back in with the Nivea Originals beautiful right what do I think if you and I'm doing this hopefully it'll help people who own a future and thinking of getting one of these because of the cheap cost or inexpensive cost or maybe you haven't got a future uh, so you think of buying one of these you know, and then maybe get a proper future in the, in the future. <laughs> so, what do I think of it? Right. Excellent. 
well worth the money and I'll show you now let me just take the head off the future carefully so that's inside the Merca future don't know if you can tell anything on this set on this because um, yeah I wasn't sure what to expect I thought the finish is gonna be maybe crap you know thinking of the cost of it but um, let me just rinse that so you can see it that's the inside of the Ming Shi 2000 so you can see there's not a lot of difference there you know it's uh, made really good for the price you can't say uh, I highly recommend it for that price and the finish is better than what I thought it was as I say it's not quite a uh, satin like that is that's if you can see that's a more silvery so that the Ming Shi is sort of a in-between satin and chrome actually uh, well this one is anyway but um, same size head shaves the same for me I can feel this one is 25 grams lighter than the original future 125 grams 100 grams in weight and as I say when you measure them properly it doesn't show on camera maybe but this Ming Shi is about two millimeters shorter than the future so the only difference for me in this shave between the two is it's two millimeters shorter the Ming Shi and um, 25 grams lighter would I recommend it yes very good especially with this the cost of these futures 50 to 60 pounds um, the gold is dearer that's different you know you, that's a beautiful razor but uh, so four futures I got now really <laughs> right so that's that then I hope that helps someone somewhere if you're thinking of buying one or the other um, in the future right grey dog I'll show you something now I've received a soap and two brushes from Grey Dog. Now this one, and I presume it's the, this is the two band, two band badger Grey Dog. And this is the one I'm giving away, brand new. So it's not going to be used, anything like that. Look at that, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful brush. Uh, quite similar to my um, synthetic though, I'll show you. Tuxedo knot. It's, uh, that's my, mine, that's the bishop, <laughs> and I've used the pawn today, that one. Now this one is the one I'm giving away on the, this side, two band badger. I presume uh, Grey Dog will correct me if I'm wrong, just slightly smaller than mine, the handle, as you can see. And a just slight different uh, handle as well. So, just to show you, let me put that down. So that's the one I'm giving away when it gets to 9,000 subscribers, the channel. Uh, so thank you Grey Dog, fantastic. And it'll be a unique brush. You know, you can't buy them in the shops or anything like that. So it's a unique thing. Uh, another one he sent me is this thing. He said he wanted me to try the, it's a ball brush. See what you think of the handle, it's just something he tried and made, it's beautiful. But to give you an idea of the size, uh, it's a huge thing. <laughs> it reminds, as soon as I seen this, it reminded me of the Omega Professional or the Omega 49, which I've got here to show you. Now, they are similar, that's the size. They're similar knots uh, in size. But this is, look at this. This is a big brush for those that know it. But look at that. We get it right there you go are we level yeah so that's that's the difference it's a big fat thing huge if you've got big hands you'd love this so i'm going to use this um thank you grey dog i will use it it feels good here because this part of my hand fits and there's a good backbone to it and yet it's it's similar to the omega professional if you own one to give you an idea what it feels like but there's a good backbone so this should be good on hard puck soaps um, and the ball brush gets better with use uh, as you go along so thank you so much Grey Dog for for my brushes doing the giveaway brush and for this uh, really nice huge thing <laughs> it's a way to get exercise here but uh, no it's lovely I like it look at that 
craftsman. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? A clever man. So thank you so much. Now, he also sent a soap he didn't make, I think a friend of his or someone he knows, and they want me to try it. So I'll do that either Wednesday or the following Sunday. I'm not sure yet. But um, that'll be an interesting soap, that. I've never used anything like that before. Uh, and it's quite a good link for me. Uh, but anyway, I'll talk about it in, when I use it. So that's something to look forward to. I've kept this, I hope it hasn't gone on too long. Thank you so much for watching, for all your support, your kindness. And I hope you have some fantastic shaves. And as I say, I hope this uh, uh, Ming Shi versus the Merca Future was interesting or a help to someone in deciding um, whether to go ahead and buy one or not. But uh, a really good razor, really good price and well worth the money in my book. It's uh, built much better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I just hope it lasts, you know, because it looks the part, so I hope it does last. So thanks for watching, have a fantastic rest of Sunday, have some great shaves, stay in good health and uh, try to stay happy and um, I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.